Hello everyone, welcome to day number 30. So today officially we're gonna end this challenge but don't worry I will keep on making video but yeah probably not so regular but yeah for sure I'll finish each and every core problem in not each and every but which are necessary in HDL bits. You can keep on giving in the comment section whichever you find any difficulty and if you have missed that we will solve those so don't worry but yeah obviously I'm gonna end this challenge so from tomorrow if i don't make video don't tell that hey you are a loser <laughs> and yesterday we have promised that we will also finish the k map right but i don't think so we can finish k map today because it's already late and dog outsides they were barking so i waited waited but still they are barking so i don't know why they are barking and that's why i can't do k map today but yeah for sure i'll finish this arithmetic today like at least sign edition is very important so we'll finish that but before that we'll quickly go to this multiplexer 9 to 1 multiplexer uh, we got one request uh, in our comment section so let us try it out the only issue with this multiplexer and that is the only issue or only twist uh, where you might fail uh, like you, you won't get a success message and that is here they are telling you you have inputs you have actually only nine inputs here right so you have multiplexer here and you have dot 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 nine inputs here and to to, to select those nine input in select line you need to have how many variable uh, like bits three bits are not enough we need to go for four bits but the problem with four bits is that 4 bit have combination for 16 input but here we can only define 9 input so the rest 7 input combination will create some issue because if we don't assign them to something then we will get a latch here I have explained why those things are happening hopefully you are clear with those things right and the another thing is there another small twist is there it is a 16 bit wide multiplexer so each input is of 16 bits not of one bit previously we are doing i think all are one bit but here it's not one bit so that's why few of you might face issue but one thing is cut and clear and that is we need to use a case statement here right and in the question only they have say you that here set all output bit to one anytime you don't find any combinations like for select 9 to 15 because remember your select is of 4 bit and due to its 4 bit it can go from 0 to 15 but input we have only 0 to 9 for 0 to 9 we can select the input but anytime your select get a combination of 9 10 15 then your output should tie to 1 so there you might do one wrong thing but let's do it quickly so i have written it for you we need to use a always block because we are using a case statement here is our nine lines and i am using your hexadecimal because i don't want to type it more typing and hexadecimal is very easy to write so i have given all the four combinations here right now here you might face one issue and very important issue actually and see let me explain you here so you have all the nine combinations here and for other what we'll do we'll just write the default conditions and we'll say hey if these nine co com combinations are there for select line select this output to your assign otherwise your out will go to what to one but now here how i need to assign my out is it like that four then it should be hexadecimal and into one should it be like that or should it be like that that only one we should tie it to one what we write so here one issue is there so let me submit and we'll get a wrong answer and see we are getting a wrong answer so we will try our verification mind so in verification mind we'll see the uh, our waveform in waveform we can see that here anytime our select is 0 a is selected and anytime our select is 8 then 13 is selected because your i is of 13 number right only problem we are facing and that is any time your select line going beyond the nine combinations from 0 to 8 we are perfectly fine because for 0 to 8 we have all our input but anytime it go to 9 it go to a a means it is 10 in binary form right it is in hexadecimal they are writing here so anytime we are going beyond the combination of what we in input we have like for 9 we have the input for other we don't have it I'm repeating again and again <laughs> okay but there we are having a problem and there what is happening in our answer is tied to one right but according to them it should be tied to f f f f what does it mean uh, these all are in hexadecimal so they are using for five 
4 f here right so 4 f means it is in decimal form 15 15 15 and 15 or in binary form it is 1 1 1 1 so for 15 how many one will be there 4 so i'll write 4 time 1 and it will become your 16 bits and just remember your out is a 16 bit output and what they mention in your question assign one to each bit of your output but here in our try our solution what we are doing we are just assigning out equal to one actually how, what is happening here your out is becoming zero 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 one in hexadecimal format in binary format i need to expand it zero 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 like that and then last zero 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 one but just for simplicity i have written in hexadecimal format so to change it what we need to do we need to write it like that f f f f and it is of 16 bits so 16 bits and in hexadecimal form don't get confused here why 4 here why 16 here because here you are not writing your output here you are defining your select right and your select is of 4 bit so that's why here it's 4 bit but here it need to be 16 bit because your out is of 16 bit and for sure now you'll get a sub success message and i have one request for you in the end of this video i'll explain that request you need to follow that request you need to help me with that okay so we got a success no it's a new request not uh, about giving a feedback i think most of you have already given your feedback those who want to and those who don't want to they have ignored no issue but yeah if still you want to then in description it is there in the link okay so now what we'll go we'll directly go to our uh, not kmap arithmetic circuit so here sign addition see sign addition is very important tools complement is very important because all your modern uh, addition sign addition and you need to do sign additions why you need to do additions because all our algorithm fft all your algorithms are there we need to do some those basic plus multiplication division uh, minus plus we need to do keep on doing so that's why addition is very important or adder is a very important digital circuits and in adder sign bit adder is a very much important thing right so that's why you need to have a fresh have a clear crystal concepts of two's complement or one's complement it's very easy very simple but again it's very confusing also so that's why i have given you one more dead time but just to bring everybody in same line here what they are trying to tell us that hey uh, you will do a two bits additions right so in two bits addition sometimes what happen we get a overflow for example i'll give you one 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 situation for example you want to write your seven positive seven in two's complement form tell me how we will write that simple nothing we need to do nothing we will just write this this extra one is needed because it's a sign so zero means it's a positive but same time if you want to write your seven or the minus seven in two's complement form then what we'll do we will turn this positive seven to first once complement this is your once complement and then mostly we don't use once complement we use two's complement only for representing negative number and then for two's complement we'll add one here so finally it will become your minus seven will become one zero zero one so in two's complement from plus seven is same as general number but minus seven is written like that and see you have a one here at the most significant bit which imply if it is one then it's a negative number if it is a zero it's a positive number from here you can see it now if you have one situation and that is you want to add plus seven and plus one then what will happen let us uh, explore here so our our so our adder is working on two's complement form so we will first write our two's complement of seven which is nothing but this we will write two's complement of one which is again nothing but this because those these are positive number there's nothing to do now we'll do the additions so to do addition you will find that it's zero 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 and one now tell me my brother and sister what this imply in your decimal form 
many of you are telling that it is 8 and it is perfect. 7 plus 1, it should be 8 and it is happening as 8. But I will tell you it's wrong. We are in a world of 2's complement, right? So it will become a minus 8. How it is becoming a minus 8? Just write your positive 8 first. So this is your positive 8. 8. Actually, the issue is that using 4 bit we can't write minus 8. That's the issue. Because 1 bit is reserved for our uh, what called sign. But to write your 8, you need 4 digit. Right. So now, if this is your positive 8 and I am telling 1000 is a negative 8, don't we get confused? Let me convert it to your two's complement form. So yeah, if this is a positive eight, no doubt, right? We will convert it to one's complement, and then we'll add one to it. What is happening? See, so that means which imply in two's complement form. If we want to do a addition of seven and one using a 4-bit representation here we are doing 4-bit representation then plus 8 is impossible to write because this is plus is no doubt but if my processor is working on 2's complement form then it will recognize it as a minus 8 and you will also get the same thing uh, if you just go through the theory that in 2's complement form if you have n bit then you can represent represent the number system from minus 2 to the power minus n to 2 to the power min, uh, raised to n minus 1. So if it is 4, uh, uh, something is wrong, uh, n minus 1, n minus 1. So if your n equal to 4, then it will become 2 to the power 4 minus 1, 3, which is minus 8, 2, here it is 8 minus 1, 7, positive 7. So we can represent only this but here what is happening very important see you are adding 7 and 1 which should result a positive 8 but due to overflow here actually what is happening overflow is happening from here to here so due to overflow it will be recognized as minus 8 which is wrong and there we need to raise a flag and to raise a flag actually we have this overflow flag here so we need to build some logic which will flag this overflow anytime this kind of situation is arising in our digital circuits and it's a very important thing so let us try to do it discussions are very long but answer will be in two line only <laughs> okay so what we'll do actually we need to check the most significant bit of our input so here you have your input a and b for example the previous example was our 7 0 1 1 1 and 0 0 0 1 so the most significant bit why we are checking most significant bit because by most significant bit we can know is it a positive number or it's a negative number so if it's a positive number then in the answer also most significant bit should be a positive number two positive number never can produce a negative number two negative number addition can never bring a positive number only the issue would be happening if both are of same sign they can't be of another sign we need to check that so that's why i am taking the most significant bit which is for your a and b is 7 so a7 b7 let me write it again in clear a7 and then your b7 right and then we'll check with s also s is your answer the most significant bit of your answer these are our combinations so we will write all the combinations and now the overflow flag so see now if both are 0 0 positive number then your sum can be positive so overflow is 0 both are positive number but your sum becoming 1 the most significant bit becoming a minus uh, number so here our overflow flag must be raised for this also see 1 is 0 1 and one is positive another is negative you are getting a positive number so zero now one is zero another is one so one means it's a negative number but if it is more negative than the positive then we get can get an answer of negative so our overflow will be zero and for other line also overflow will be zero only for this one see your both number are negative but you are getting a positive number something is happening here some overflow so we'll raise our overflow and then for here if it is uh, if it is positive then 
a negative then answer would be negative so zero so that means for two uh, sorry for one here zero one and four seven six we are having a issue or for these combinations of our input and output we are having a issue so we'll just write it here so first we are doing our addition s equal to a plus b and then we are checking our overflow and this i got from the truth table a little while ago we have written kmap is not required here because if you put them in kmap also you'll get the same expression so let us submit and see if we get some answer and see we got an answer great okay and let me know if you have uh, done this 4-bit BCD error or not because from 31 day number 31 onward we will try with KMF. but again nothing is promised 30 days was promised committed I have done now nothing is uh, promised I'll only do if you keep and my request is that please please go to my channel hey hi so who yeah, please go here go to playlist go to this playlist and in playlist just click uh, view full playlist and then you will get a link right so if you find anyone who will get benefited if you share this link then please do so it will help me a lot and also if you are comfortable you can share on your facebook instagram your linkedin if you feel comfortable otherwise yeah share in your group in your whatsapp group your you will be having your batch whatsapp group right please share help me to reach to more people and yes i'll also give this link in my description the first link would be this so directly you can copy from there and you can keep on sharing so share help me and if you keep my promise then for sure i'll again come back with 31st 32 for sure i'll do like i need to do it for sure i have promised but yeah how frequently how fast i'll do it depend on you <laughs> okay and like this video also so as said in day number one that after 30 days you will be empowered to explore this world of very log and i hope now you are in a position you are feeling little conf confident that hey if we uh, read more theory and do more practice then very log is just a easy thing for us and we can crack any any front-end interview i hope uh, this is the situation with you if not then also it's not okay uh, it's okay not okay it's okay because anyway 30 days are very small time so don't worry so we will meet with some other video tomorrow day after tomorrow and for sure day, uh, day number 31 is happening when it is happening i can't promise anything probably tomorrow also but yeah please uh, you can help me with this and till then thanks a lot for all these 30 days and tata bye bye